Thomas of Fern Studios is proud to present Thomas vs. Timothy Part 1 Later that week, Thomas was in better spirits. But however, that was about to change. At the chocolate factory, Percy saw Toby. Hey, Toby, what are you doing out in this late at night? I've been waiting here for hours. The single man told me that the points had failed, so my driver has called some workmen to come and fail and fix the failed points. Suddenly, Percy and Toby hear a whistle. Then they saw the shape of an engine coming to them. They couldn't see his face, but I was certain that it was the evil spirit of Timothy. My reign of horror will never end. My raft will be felt. And one by one. All of you will be sent to your graves. Then he will be mine. And he will join me in hell. Timothy shot forward, whistling long and loudly. Percy and Toby got a glimpse of his sadistic face. They shut their eyes as they suspected a crash. <sighs> Percy and Toby then opened their eyes. Timothy was gone. So... That was Timothy. Yes, Toby, it was. When Thomas heard the news the next day, he couldn't believe it. I thought Timothy would leave me alone for now, but it looks like he would just never will. Thomas then started to make a plan and asked Percy and Toby to come and help him out. Most of their fear of not wanting to. The plan was to find Timothy and use somebody as bait to lure him out. Once he got distracted, Thomas would seize his opportunity to put him in his place and end his reign of horror. Tonight, said Thomas, we put our plan into action. As the storm was about to set in, and, went, and along with it came the moonlight. The engines knew that they're going to have a terrifying night.